Praise be to Jesus. I greet you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. We have sung a good song. How our forefathers walked with God. How our forefathers lived with the Father. And that is therefore instruction. And it's a very good illustration for us to know God. Praise be to Jesus. The journey they went through up to the New Testament, there we are talking about our forefathers. Praise be to Jesus. Praise be to Jesus. Uh, we are going to close the theme we had that was about the blessings from God. It doesn't mean that we have exhausted that teaching, it just means that we want to move on to something else. You can talk about all the blessings of God and exhaust them. The blessings that God gives, you can't exhaust them. Even and you sitting here is a blessing from God. Yes, May God bless you. Sitting here, the fact that you're praying, that you come to the house of God, that you have something that pushes you to come, it's a blessing from God. Yes, Praise be to Jesus for that. So what have we talked about? I want us to be at the same page with those who are here and those who are following us online. We have said these things everything that you have all mentioned every teacher who came here they spoke about that we have confirmed this and it is very important the blessing comes from God that God in that God the blessing was found through Jesus Christ if you have Jesus you have all the blessings from God you're eligible to all the blessings of God you're a candidate to the blessings of God if you don't have Jesus if you don't have God in you everything you have whatever you own everything you do I have understood Understood that there is no guarantee to that. You don't have an insurance. May God help us. This is what we have talked about up to today. And we have all shown that all the four times we have preached here that all the blessings that we need to look at the one who gives those blessings more than at the blessing themselves the giver of the blessing where those blessings come from and we have seen that those who have that blessing who is Jesus they are content with everything they have whatever they have more than others they are satisfied with that they enjoy that and we have seen that for us who are in Jesus Christ there are no curses praise be to Jesus because first of all we have received blessing in Jesus Christ and we have seen that if there is adversity come your way whatever you can call a curse you can pray and try to identify the door that you might have opened otherwise you're not cursed you can't be cursed when you're in Jesus you cannot be cursed amen amen so today, even though that's how no things look man, like, yes. even though we have talked so much no about God Jesus, can, yes. even though we have highlighted no God Jesus, God Jesus, even though we say that all the blessings are found in Christ, and they are there in the spiritual way, today I have another news. Don't forget that. Please don't forget that it all starts with Jesus. But I have another news for you. In Jesus Christ, we even have tangible material things. Beloved, 
I have prayed to God to help me so that I might give this message as he gave it to me not causing the heart of one who is after the material things to follow that only. Because the Holy Spirit has helped us, all of us who came here. We have so much talked about the giver of blessing. And we have highlighted, we have emphasized how much it is important to have the owner, the giver of blessing. We even rebuke the heart that is lasting after material things. And that was not us. It was the Holy Spirit rebuking through us. But even though that's how it looks, should we stop there and say that God didn't give material things to his people? Should we say that the blessings are only spiritual, no material? Should we say that it only stops in the spirit? It doesn't go beyond and things that are material uh, appear to people, materialize? I say no. What is this is the answer? God gives material blessings. That is news in Omega. That is a new information in Omega. Your witness to this. Omega. in Omega Church. We so much talk about the blessing and the owner of blessings. We talked about what you have learned from God that those who have the blessings for them to share it with others. And we have come to that time where people are craving after materials. And, and the Holy Spirit causes us to rebuke those who are after the blessing and not the giver of blessing. And don't move from there. Yes, that's the truth. But even though that's how it is, we will not close. With people thinking after all those messages that have been given, isn't it, is it impossible for God to give material blessings? Yes, Imana Itanga Omujisha Yes, indeed, God gives blessing of tangible blessings and they can be seen by people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Dear friends, beloved. When I started this message, you know, it's not part of me usually. It's really not part of me. Because I have seen that God gives blessings according to what he wants and his plans and his will. But one day, uh, that was in the month of April, I sat down, and a voice told me, you don't say, you say. You know, I'm not someone who watches TV that much. But I know that there is a show that is titled that way. And when I was done doing what I was busy doing, I was still before God. And I asked God, I asked him, what do you mean by they don't say, they say? Because it is not part of me. I don't even know those uh, emissions, those shows. The one who was talking to me, he explained to me what he was talking about. God told me two things. He said, there are things that you say, myself included, People think that diseases and sicknesses come from me. That's one. Second point. People think that I cannot give material blessings. And even those who know that, they go through ways that are not my ways. 
sinatinze and i didn't spend much time naraje nigisha kukubohoka I came and I talked about the deliverance from sicknesses. And what came after was that I opened this theme about the blessings coming from God. So what God had told me is different from what is usually me. The things I can take time to teach about the blessings that come from God. When I talk about the blessings from God, don't put aside what you have learned so far. And I won't only talk about wealth or money. I'll talk about the great works, the mighty works that God does in our lives. You know, there are mighty works that appear in everyone's life and those ones were done by God. Some might say it's a miracle that God has done for me. And others will say it is a blessing that God gave me. And others will say the grace that God gave me. And others who say the mighty works of God in my life, however you might call it, but God appears in the lives of human beings. And it's not only in the spiritual realm. People can see that and they will say that there, there is a blessing of God. People who can observe that, they will say that the hand of God has been with that person. The Holy Spirit wants us to talk about the mighty works of God. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Let us read now. Ibyanditswe bitatu bya mbere turabisoma mama yinesa some mu cyongereza ibindi abongereza murajya n'abafaransa muraza kujya mukurikira. I uh, will read the first three scriptures both in English and in Kinyarwanda and then for the following ones those with English Bibles you read for yourselves. Zaburi mirongo ine na kane kabiri kane. We read Psalm 44 verse 2 to 4. Mana twari yumviye na matwi yacu baso gukuruza batubwi imirimo wakoze mu gihe cyabo. Mujihe cha achiru. Wimu jamahanga ukuboko kwa we ushingamo abo baso gokuruzi. Wate ya maboko ibzago. Amo kibzago. Kanda bo urabata atanya mubihugu. Kukwa tari yabo ngota yaba haye guhindura ijihugu. Kanda taru ukuboko kwa bo kwa bachijije. Ahugo ni chiganza chawe chivorijo. No ukuboko kwa we no mucho umu maso hawe kuko wabishi miragu. Chakabiri, kutoje kwa kwa kabiri, umunani chumi na kari nguchumi na umunani, reka na homa asome. Uziri ndewe kuibgiruti, imbaraga za nje na mawako ya nje, nibyo bza mesheje obobutonzi. Ahugu zibu kuite kimana yawe, kukwari igu himbaraga, zikuronye shobutonzi. Kujirangu ikomezi sezara na ya sezara niji ndahiro, base kuru zabanyo, kukwiri komeza muri chijihe imani shimu. Ahanyoma, Yohana ubutumwa bwiza cumi na kare cumi na rimwe Yesu abwira abigishwa bati ni munyizere mwemere ko ndi muri data na data akaba muri gi ariko rero niba mutizezwa nibyo mvuga munyizezwe n'imirimo nkora ubwayo Yesu ashimwe I will read uh, in English, it's from verse 1 to 3, that is Psalm 44. It says, We have heard with our ears, O God, our fathers have told us the deeds you did in their days, in days of old. You drove out the nations with your hands, but them you planted. You afflicted the peoples and cast them out. For they did not gain possession of the land by their own sword, nor did their own arm save them. But it was your right hand, your arm, and the light of your countenance, because you favored them. Amen. We read uh, in, in Deuteronomy chapter 8, verse 17 to 18, it say, Then say in your heart, My power and the might of my hand have gained me this wealth. And you shall remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the power to get wealth, that he may establish his covenant, he, which he swore to your fathers as it is this day. 
and then we'll read in John, read in John chapter 14, verse 11. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the sake of the words of the works themselves. Amen. Yes, Ashimit. Praise be to Jesus. The writer of Psalm 44, he says this to us. Say, oh God, we have heard with our ears. We have heard uh, what our ancestors told us. Because you had commanded them to tell their children the stories of the journey. Say, it came to us and we heard about it. We have I've heard the great works you did for them. One of the things that amazes is how you took them and you planted them in a country that was no not there. Because there were nations there. Remember that. There are nations that were living in Canaan. There were many people. And God took his people, Israel, and he took them out of Egypt, and he took them on a journey and he commanded them to live in a certain country. He planted them. I'm talking about the God who takes you from one place to another place. I'm talking about the God who has the power to take you from one place to another. Say, because of his plan, he doesn't just move you out. He doesn't just plant you somewhere. He has a plan. And he will take you from somewhere a very bad place where you're weary and tired where you're tired and he will plant you in another place that is good he said we heard about those works we have heard what you have done he said it was not their own arm it was not their own swords beloved those nations they had their leadership system in place probably they had leaders of villages like we do. probably they had a leader in charge of immigration and immigration probably they had their own leadership system in place but the people of God, Israel, they were not planted there because of the leader so of the village. It's not the leader of those nations who took the decision of saying, let them come and live here. God, the creator of heaven and earth, he said, I'm commanding those ones are moving and those ones are going to come here. The word of God is a prophecy for your life. The word of God is a prophecy a prophecy for your life. You should hear it. Because God has the power to take you from one place and to plant you in another place and to bless you there. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. That is something powerful. He said they didn't fight. We didn't hear about the swords. But those things, they are mazes. The way you gave them a nation. I want to tell you about that nation they went to. Every time they were in the wilderness when they were tired when God will humble them to test uh, the ways of their hearts he was preparing for them crops that they didn't plant he was telling them that when they go there they will eat the food that they didn't and that's why it was called a land of honey and milk. And they found things there that they didn't toil for. Listen. This is God. I know that the story I'm talking about is not I just a made up story. I know that among you there are think people who are there who have things that they didn't work for. Who hear me? Yes, God bless you. God gives. Who can uh, argue that, that God doesn't give? Who 
can dare say that, that God doesn't give? Who can ever tell you that God doesn't give blessings? Even though I'm the one who told you that blessings are found in Jesus together with the beloved. Yes, yes. Yes, in Jesus. But God does mighty works. God is powerful. God can give you things and you be so surprised. God can give you blessings and you're overwhelmed. God can give you not because you walk more than others. God can tell you not because you're something better than others. This God I serve, he gives that and it's evident to everyone. And those sons of Korah, they say, you heard about us. One, they will not find God. They will say, where are those works that we heard about? Because it was a command that their children, their offspring, all their posterity will always hear about the great works of God. I'm talking about the works of God. I'm talking about the might of God in our lives. God is powerful. God is mighty. Those things he did for the Israelites, even today he will do them for you. Oh, yeah, now, Sabjimana, go sin darure. Yes, I ask God that I might not cause you love for her, but to know that this God, he can And he will plant you in a place where you didn't toil for anything. Yes, yes, he does that. Even though you have not yet achieved that, you might think that it's material blessing, just houses, money, things like that. But open wide your eyes so that you may see that things that God does in your life that you didn't work for. Yes, Ashi. Praise be to Jesus. But it all starts with Jesus Christ. Number one, Jesus. Number one, Jesus. Umujire. You have him. Umutonge. Have Jesus in your life. Imani and God will be pleased with you. Yes, Ashi. Praise be to Jesus. Amagambo, yose so all the words we have read, Turaza we are going to come back to that. Yes, Jesus told his disciples, uh, it was after Philip and Thomas had yes, asked the that. He said, I'm going back to my father. And Thomas said, show us the way. Philip said, and then after what? Yes, I'm going back to my father. And Jesus told them, up to today, and Philip, you have not yet understood that I am in my father, and my father in me, and whatever I do, yes, him is doing. Jesus came on this earth to reveal to us who the father is. All the works that he did, all the miracles that he performed, it was for you to understand how the father in heaven is with with you. Yes, Ashi. Praise be to Jesus. Yes, Aranji Jarababgirat. And then Jesus told them. Believe in me. Believe that I am in my father and my father in me. We work together. And he said, I'm going to ask you this If my words do not convince you, that was Jesus speaking. If the words I'm talking about, they do not convince you. Ngaya. Here they are. The works that I do for you, don't they convince me? The works that I did, are, and they convince me. I'm asking you to. Even if the word of God might not convince you, but in your life, since you have Jesus, does nothing convict you ever? Jesus hasn't done anything yet. Are there no works that you can touch and say, This is Jesus at work? Just believe in Jesus. If the words are failing, just believe what you see him doing in your life. Because you see greater things than what you have seen already. Hallelujah. Yes, Ashim. Praise be to Jesus. Yes, Jesus is here to convince you. The Holy Spirit is here to convince us. 
kuko hari kubohoka byanze kuko because there is deliverance for sure amagamba tunaniye kuyumva if we fail to hear the words hari imirimo yemeza but there are works that convince hari bikorwa byemeza there are works that convince hari ibyo kabakabye bikwemeza the things that you have touched that convince you nindo maze kubona ibimwemeza who have seen things that convince yes aduha no mugisha nange mbarimo Jesus places i'm one of them too urugendo ngendanye n'Imana The journey I have walked with God ibihindutse nibyinshi So many things have changed Imirimo y'Imana ni myinshi The works of God are so numerous Kandi ndashima And I'm grateful Yes ashim Praise be to Jesus Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen Amen Tujye gutangira kwiga ku bantu batatu So we're going to learn about three people. Tujye kureba abantu batatu. We're going to see three people. Muri basogokuruza. Some of our ancestors. Bari bafite isezerano ry'Imana. Who had the promise of God? Turebe uko bagendanye n'Imana. We'll see how they walked with God. Ndashaka kwerekana ikintu kimwe. I want to show you one thing. Ibintu bifatika the things that, that are tangible the material things, and not going taking your heart uh, to love or to I'm still encouraging you to build yourself on the gift and telling you that he is able Abraham let's talk about Abraham Genesis 14 We talk, uh, we'll read in Genesis chapter 14. Icyo ngereza ni igifaransa igiswahire ni English Bibles, French Musome. Bibles, Swahili, anything not king around that read in your Bible. Nifuza kujya muri Bibiliya kugira ngo mubone ko birimo. I want us to go in the Bible so that you might see that this is real. Yes ashim. Praise be to Jesus. Dusome itangiro 14. Read Genesis 14. Atabarutse avuye gutsinda Kedorula Omeri nabandi bami bari kumwe nawe umwami wa Sodoma musanganira mu gikombe Shave nico gikombe cy'umwami Kandi meri kisede cy'umwami wa Salemu azana imitsima na vino tumaze kubibona yari umutambyi w'Imana isomba byose Amuhesha umugisha ataburamu ahabwe umugisha n'Imana isomba byose nyiri juru nise Kandi Imana isomba byose ihimbazwe yakugabije ababisha bawe nuko aburahamu amuha kimwe mu icumi cyabyose umwami wa Sodomu abwira aburahamu ati mpa abantu ibintu byijyanire aburahamu asubiza umwami wa Sodomu ati ndahirije uwiteka kumanika ukuboko kwanje niwe mana isumba byose nyiri juru nise yuko ntazatwara akadodo cyangwa gashumi k'inkweto ko mu byawe kugira ngo utibwira uti nige utungishije Abraham Keretse gusa wishyura impamba na haya bagaragu banje kandi uhe abo twatabaranye umugabane Aneri na Eshikori na Mamure bo bajyane umugabane wabo imanishimwe That was from verse 17 to 24 Yes ashimwe reka dusome na makunyana rimwe makunyana kabiri makunyana kane nifuza ko iyi migisha tujya tuvuga twumva abantu bafata mu kirere ngo fata fata tubanze turebe Baba batrisha bayikurahe. I want us to understand this blessing you know people always saying grab grab yours but where are they getting them from? Ubzumve muri parti ya Bibiliya ubzumve mu mvugo ya Bibiliya. I want you to understand this from a biblical perspective we read 20, 21 verse 22 to 24. Muri yo minsi abimereki na fikori umutware w'ingabo ze babwira abaramu ati Imana iri kumwe nawe mu byo ukora byose. Nuko rero undahira Imana yuko utazandiganya cyangwa umwana wanje cyangwa umuzukuru wanje ahubwo ineza nakugiriye uzayinyitura nge ni gihugu wasuhukiyemo Aburahamu aramusubiza ati ndarahira Imana ishimwe cyane Igipande cy'ambere tubonye Aburahamu the first part we have seen Abraham ajya gutabara going to fight on a battle ajya gutabara umwami wa Sodom he was going on a battle to fight uh, to, to fight for the king of Sodom ajya gufasha umwami wa Sodomu He went to assist to help the king of Sodom Icyo nshaka kubereka niki What I want to show you is this Ibyibwe byagiye yo The things that were taken uh, abantu as plunder the people Eminyago uh, all the plunder Abraham byose abikura yo Abraham took all that from the, the enemy everything Mwibuka impamvu yabishoboraga And remember why he was doing that Impamvu yabishoboraga The reason why he was Ukuba able to do that. The good hand of the Lord was with him Yes in 
kugira ngo Aburahamu yarashoboraga gusa. Yes, don't think that he was just Paul. Ya Imana yasezeranye nabi muvana muri Uru y'abakarudayo yabanaga nawe. The God who was in a covenant with the one who took him from Ur in Chaldean's country was with him. Aranesha. And he overcame. Kuchanesheje? Why did he overcome? Uwo no mugisha wa mbere. That is the first blessing. Kunesha. Defeating the Kuneshi enemy. Bikurguanya. Defeating overcoming what he's fighting you is and that a blessing? Kuneshi bikurguanya su mugisha. Defeating what he's fighting you is and that a blessing? Please clap for Jesus. Should we consider the blessings are only spiritual? Defeating what is fighting you, overcoming what is fighting you, overcoming what is tempting you. He took the plan of God and he took the people from there who were taken captive. And the king told him, say, "Oh, just keep the things, the material things." But Abraham, he knew the one who gave him, and he said, "No." Say what you're going to do. These people who came to fight with me, you're going to give them something. But don't give anything to me. Otherwise, you might think that you're the one who made me rich. Please clap for Jesus. God gives a blessing. God gives blessings. The question is this. Who gives you? Do you remember who gives you? Abraham in all the joy he had. He gave one tenth to the king of Salem. And in Hebrews they told us who was the king of Salem. He didn't have a beginning or an end. Who is the person who doesn't have a beginning or an end? That is Jesus. Salem. Salem. Shalom. Shalom. That is Jesus. So I gave him one tenth of what he had. Who is talking about the tithe? Who argues about the tithe? That's not my topic for the day, but I want to tell you. Hebrews seven, if I'm not wrong. Abraham in his trouble. He blessed someone. He blessed, he gave a chance to someone. He blessed him. The person blessed him and Abraham gave him a chance. But he told that king he had supported or assisted in the battle. He said, no, I'm helping you. But don't pay the price. May God keep you from being bold. May God keep you from someone paying the price of you. May God keep you from looking for the May God keep you from looking for the blessing that comes from a price. Who hears me? When you go and you do a good work, and you receive praise, be careful. Who gives you strength? Who enables you? Who enables you? Or you students, who helps you to uh, study and to be successful? Who is the one who helped you to be successful in your studies? Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Abraham teaches us about who is to be praised. When things are good, who should we praise? Yes, Praise be to Jesus. One thing I wanted you to highlight, to keep, he said, no. Don't think that you're the one who made me rich. I know the one who has given me. And the one who enabled me. I know him. In Deuteronomy, they told me. So that you might not forget the one who has given you the wisdom, the, the intelligence, and might to conquer that or to achieve that. Say amen. Say amen. Praise be to Jesus. Let us move forward. Abimelech. Abimelech. 
ati imana iri kumwe nawe he said i know god is with you muzukora byose in all that you do imirimo y'imana the works of god kubuzima bwawe in your life itera mbere ujugira the prosperity that you get yaba mugukunda imana bikagaragara whether it is in the love of god and it uburyo ukunda abantu evident the way you love people yaba uburyo ufasha abantu the way you help people yaba uburyo ubwiriza abantu the way you preach to people yaba uburyo uramuri kiganzwa abantu the way you stretch your hand and give to people hari imana ibishaka there is a God who wants that to be seen by other people because God wants his glory to be seen God doesn't give you for no other reason. Tell your neighbor it is not in vain that God gives you. That's the main point of what I'm telling you. His glory. God doesn't give us for no other reason. God gives but the problem is people don't get to recognize that it is him who has done that. Whether you're successful in whether you have a good marriage, whether you're successful in your work, whatever you do, who do you praise? Who do you praise? Who do you take your kato and other uh, offerings of thanksgiving to? Who do you thank? Isn't it? That yes. action you, you do when someone has given you, where do you go to thank someone? May God help us. I plead with you, where do you go and give thanks? Ushimande. Who do you thank? Ninde who is the one who gave Ninde you? Who gives knowledge? Who has given you that power and strength? That is where the question Ushimande. lies. Who do you thank? When God works, do you thank your wife? When God works, do you thank your husband? What if he's working and you're the, they are praising yes, people? Yes, thank people, but you need to know who has enabled them. Who is the one who was driving them to what they did? If God doesn't know you, no one will ever know you. You're Amen. edified. Amen. I'm also edified. It is God. Go to God. Go back to God. Go and kneel to the Almighty and say, I know you have worked through human beings. I know that you walk through men and you bless me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. Let us go, Father. Isaac. Isaac. Let me go fast. Mwibuke ntabwo nshaka gusubira inyuma twarabwiwe bihagije kumugisha tugira muri Kristo Yesu komoka muri Abrahamu ukaba warapashije muri Yesu ukarangirira muri twe. We were told that the blessing we have in Jesus is the blessing of Abraham that went through Jesus and reached us. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. Na mama Zura hano yarautubwiye. Even mama Zura she said about that. Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. We are seeing the promise that God gave to Abraham continuing to his offspring. Let us continue with his You know, I didn't tell you how rich Abraham was. I didn't tell you where the Bible said that he was rich. Should I take that paper out of the Bible? Oh, yeah. No. I'm heading somewhere and I will tell you later. God gives blessings for a purpose. For a purpose. He has a purpose. In God in heaven, he says, I'm going to give you that blessing. And what I have given you, I will accompany it. And my eyes will be on it. Because it is mine. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Isaac. I will read from verse 1 to 3. Those with the Bible. 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 
gusukira muri iki gihugu nange nzabana nawe nguha umugisha kuko wowe n'urubyaro rwawe nzaba hibi bihugu byose kandi nzakomeza indahiro narahiye ba so guruza 12 na 17 verse 12 to kugera kuri 17 12 to 17 isaka biba muri cyo gihugu muri uwo mwaka yeza ibiruta ho ishuri jana uwiteka muhomugisha uwo mugaba umukire agenda gira te kugira gute arushaho kuba umukire ageza aho yabereye umukire komeza yarafite mikumbi namashyo nabagarago benshi atera abafilistishari amariba yose abagarago ba se bafukuye aburahamu sakiriho abafilistia bari baraya shibishije ibitaka abimereke abwira isaka ati genda tuvemo kuko turuta cyane isaka vayo abamba mahema ye mu gikombe kigerari atura yo mpera yesa mashya uyu mwana aragendera mwisezera ni mana yakoranye nase this man is walking in the promise that god had with his father turi mwisezera ni mana yakoranye natwe muri yesu kristo ngo twabaye beni imigisha yose yaho we are, we, see you we are walking in the promise that God gave to us through Jesus Christ because he says that we have all the blessings, the spiritual blessings in Christ. You might tell us, why did God write these things? What was his purpose for us? Let me ask you and I'll ask the same because question. Because all scriptures, they are profitable to us. You know, the Bible doesn't tell us that they have to widow or any other. They tell us about their wealth and they don't tell us about any other thing. They don't even tell us about helping the orphans and the widows, the things we are into today. But imagine that God wanted us to see that, that those people, they were in a covenant with God and they became rich. Why? 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 You know, every time the works of God show his greatness, his power, I want to tell you, you know, it's of no use to be rich just for the sake of being rich. You know, having houses and having big cars, having money in every pocket, even though you might be a child of God, if it is of no use to the kingdom of God, it's useless. Chung. Be careful. Iman. God, everything he gives, even if it is anointing, it is also anointing. anointing even the anointing itself, God is behind the anointing he has given you, so that it might glorify him. So it, of, it is of no use to give you material things. It is of no use to give you something that, are, that is called after him. If it ends without being beneficial to any other person, God has swore that He will never share His glory with a human being. So God has a purpose when He gives us material things. Whether He gives you the gift of prophecy, whether He gives you the gift of healing sicknesses, whatever He might give you. It is for it to end speaking about his greatness, his mighty. So be careful about everything God gives you. Get the revelation of what God has given you and keep it well. Those people, wherever they were going, God was impressing people because of the riches they had. Tell me. Tell me, please. Why should God use riches to impress people? Today, do people love money? Do people respect those who have money? Yes, tell me the truth. Let us talk the truth. Yes, indeed, they are so impressed with them. You know, people who have money, they have friends that are not even necessary. 
go away. Yes, poor them. They have people who sing for them. They have people who are there to please them. People who are flattering them, telling them that they are beautiful, that they were not born like others, and they were born on a cloudless day. But God is wise. This God is very wise. God has told me leave those who are after things for them to be called in these last days he told me that in the month of April he told me in these last days we are in the revival we want the revival myself I want the revival I don't know how it's going to come but one thing I have understood there are people that God wants to give material things to Benedict. Beloved. Now are you? Those people are his people. They have all the conditions. If you don't have your and I don't have that revelation. But one thing I have understood is this. In the last days. The last days message. There will be money for the for the righteous people of God. Because because there are people who get saved because they see that you're rich and the rich go to other rich people <laughs> sorry for the poor ones the poor are the, the ones who know they are poor how do you know how my previous night was amen amen this one, I didn't hear it. Oh, it wasn't someone who told me that. No, no, no. By a human being. It started with God telling me, you, they don't say, they say. There are people who are going through a factory. There are some elect who are in a factory. There are people who are being prepared. There are people who are being tried. There are people who are being tested, God testing them to find whether they are going to manage what is going to give them. One thing I know is this. Those ones, they don't have the last of things. Those people, they don't have the last of material things. Or probably he has started that. I don't know. One thing I know, this message is not what I usually preach, but this this is something I have been told by God. There are people, there are elect who are in this time, in this generation of ours. You know, God will always raise people in their generation. For each generation, God raises people, those people He wants, and He pours His Spirit on them for their time. And they prophesy for that time. And they do the works of that time. And the God of heaven, he knows that time. And he reveals them a message appropriate for that time. And for others, he will give them material things so that he might proclaim the gospel of the kingdom of God. This is how it is. Praise be to Jesus. One thing I know, those people, whether you're one of them, whether I'll be one of them, I don't know. I have no idea. One thing I know, they are being tried. They will go through a trial so that the heart that is after things they might be delivered, set free from that. Praise be to Jesus. Because God, heaven and earth belongs to him and power belongs to him. He has told people in Jerusalem that heaven and earth belong to me animals and human beings they belong to me the way you see this earth it belongs to me and I give power and leadership to the one I want so I've chosen to give that to Nebuchadnezzar 
it was looking upside down. But power belongs to God. And God gives according to what he wants. But he has a purpose always. Tell your neighbor there is always a purpose behind everything God does. Praise be to Jesus. So Isaac became rich. He said, go away from us. People became envious of him. People will be jealous of who you are. That is no wonder. They will tell you names. They will give you names. It's no wonder. Because you won't be the first. But keep that thing they are jealous of. Hallelujah. Amen. Yes, Praise be to God. He said he became prosperous and he go, got on prospering. The Bible tells us that those people uh, they, they were not taken astray by the things they had, just like Solomon. Like we are talking about. You know, there are people who have riches and who have committed that those riches belong to God, who build the works of God. You might not know them, but there are people who have decided that. It is amazing that there are some people who are given riches and wealth uh, who are called white people because those ones I'm talking about are White but they have committed to invest in the kingdom of God. They have decided to invest in the kingdom of God. That is amazing revelation. That is being away from yourself. That is being delivered from the envy and lust and greed. I wish that today you might have the zeal to build the kingdom of God. I wish that today you might sell God God, the person I am today and what I am today what you have given me today let it build the kingdom of God you might not be able to go preach the gospel but it is possible for you to sponsor those who are going to preach the gospel serve those who are doing that praise be to Jesus do you hear that? Isaac, he was wondering. And God told him, stop wondering. I want to tell you, stop wondering. There is a day God puts an end to wondering. Oh, Praise be to Jesus. God told him, this country, don't go this far. Because the your wandering stops here. Take the prophecy of the Bible. This God is a God who puts an end to wandering. He's a God who puts an end to wandering. Wandering is not having a fixed address. Wandering is not knowing what to do. Wandering is things happening to you and you ask yourself, where am I going to go? God reveals himself to him and he said, I'm going to bless you here. Say, I'm going to to bless you here. Yeah, I'm going to bless you here. Tell your neighbor, God says I'm going to bless you here. I'm not talking about the church only. But he blesses you. Those are the words that proceeded out of the mouth of God. I'm going to bless you here. Don't go far. I'll bless you here. Isaac accepted that. Please appreciate that. I wish today you might obey God. Wandering. That was a God who was following the promise he gave and he would deliver them from all the trouble. And they would take wives from them. Have you seen the case where a father and their child, their wives are taken away from them? But God will always come to their rescue. Tell your neighbor, even that is a blessing. Can we count the blessings? Yes, Hashim. Praise be to Jesus. Last, Jacob. Jacob. Oh, Jacob, yes. Mirongo tatu. That is, that is still a blessing that proceeds out of the promise that God gave to their father. The promise we have in Jesus, the covenant in Jesus, it is unshakable. It is unrevocable. Yes, That is verse 27. 
kuko nahanuye yuko ari kubwa uwiteka yamereye umugisha ati nchi bihembo nzaguha nzaguha nzajya mbitanga barakoze dir <laughs> aramusubiza ati uziko nagutenzeho kandi kwa matungo yawe yabaye nyaragira nawe urabizi nitwarinda kuza nabana kuko ayo waru ufite ntaraza yari make <laughs> no ne yarororotse aba menshi uwiteka yaguhaye umugisha aho naganaga hose no ne nzabona ryari ibitungisha urwange rugo Mirongui, tatu nari mwe, mirongui nari mwe, mirongui nari na kabiri. Uh, we read chapter 31, verse 41 to 42. Yakoba komeje kufuga. It's still Jacob speaking. Iyo mnya kukwari makumyabili na baga iwawi. Nagute ndewa wakoga wa webo ombi. Imnya kachumi nini. Marimnya kitanda tu mwere rumokombi. Wahindu ibihembo bijanji nshuro. Wahindu ibihembo bijanji nshuro. Iya bimana ya dad. Imana ya Abraham, Imana ya Isaac, yuba itabanye nange ntuba warabuze kunsezerera nta nicyo mfite. Imana yabonye kugirirwa nabe kwanje no mu ruho wa maboko yanje iri joro rya cyaye iragukangara. Mera Yesu amashe. Please clap for Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. No you know mugish. Even this is a blessing. When God rebukes those who oh, keep the watchers from you, clap for Jesus. The promise you have in Jesus, it is beyond what you think about. The blessings of God that are obvious to people, no one can count them. Jacob the son of Isaac, 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 Abraham. Isaac the son of Abraham, Abraham and Abraham the servant of God, who had the covenant with the Almighty, the Most High. So the promise, the covenant is following after The God of Abraham is still watching after his offspring. So he looked at him when he was in Laban's house. All young men who love women poor you. May God keep you from serving like Jacob. You know, they will change. For seven years, he wanted Rachel and they gave him Leah. And then he May God help us. But that guy, he was steadfast. He was so firm. But that was prophetic. It was not just a story. Don't just think it from the uh, human perspective. Because sometimes we are so because of what we have said. No, if you are in the flesh, you won't get it. It is in the spirit. So he stayed there. And he was looking for God's blessing. The blessing of God. Stay in a place because of the blessing of God. Stay in a place because you're working for him. The person he was serving. Laban. Laban. I wanted to tell you about a God who fights for our works. Even that is a blessing beloved. God who works or fights for our things. He said, had not it been for the God of Laban my father. You know, Laban, you've been so Laban, blessed. Laban, remember how your things were when I came to you. Remember how you were. Remember how you have prospered. Even yourself, you could see that. Now let me tell you. You know the blessing we carry. It cannot go unnoticed. It will cause the foreigners to know who you are. Actually, that's the plan of God. It's so that where you are, they might know that God is there. Uh, there is a man of God who spoke recently. He said the reason we don't have any problem with the unbelievers. He said there is no way you might be a man full of the spirit. And when your wife is not yet saved. He said if we talk the truth from heaven. You will not sleep in that house. Because light and darkness they are always fighting. 
Now because you, the, the fact that you don't have problems, it's because that light is not so different from the darkness. Those words are harsh. It's a servant of God who was saying that. But you know persecution. Persecution. Uh, persecution, being accused. Uh, about the spiritual things, it will always be. He worked. But Laban didn't give him his wages. He kept lying. He kept deceiving him. And God came. At night, he said, Jacob has run away. Don't tell him any bad thing or any good thing. You know that he respected that. That's when Jacob told him, unless the God of my father has rebuked you, there is a God who rebukes people for you. There is a God who rebukes people for your sake in your work. Say, that is a blessing. Can you do that for yourself? Do you have uh, the power to go and argue if your employer doesn't pay you? How can you do that? If someone decides not to pay you for six months, what can you do? But there is a God who rebukes the unbelievers. That is a blessing. But let us not go away from the things. So Jacob became rich. And wherever Laban placed him, Jacob why? Because the blessing was in Jacob, it was not in Laban's place. The, the blessing is in new child of God. You need to understand where you're going to work. I wish you might have the revelation of saying that I may be a blessing in that work because I'm a blessing. Who has that desire? I also want that in the name of Jesus. Wherever I am, may God help me to be a blessing. Yes, having Jesus is being blessed. So your presence there, not because you are amazing, but because you have the wonderful one in you. You need to go in that employment and say, I am the king of the In the morning, you need to ask him what should we do today what should we do beloved friends of God I don't think that God might fail to bless you if you pray that prayer you know today having an employee who wants his employer to prosper Today, the one who is like my half an employee who wants to prosper his employer. But is it still common? Tell me, you who are out there. Do we still have employees who want their employers oh, yeah. to prosper? No, today the children of God, they go to a place, say, let them give me and I'll give them. They give me, I give them. It's an exchange. You bring this, I bring that. You give me glory, you, you honor me, I honor you. You give me work, I work. No. That's not how it should Jacob. be. Jacob. When he arrived in place, he was like Joseph, his son. Let me talk about Joseph. Joseph a bit. Kwa when Joseph came to the house of Potiphar, that is still the same blessing of Abraham that is going down. He said everything in the house of Potiphar prospered. Oh, for Jesus. Oh. May you enable us wherever we are for things to prosper. May it start in the spirit and end in the material world being obvious to everyone. Yes, because the desire of God is his work to be manifested. It's for his name to be glorified. So he went to the jail. He went to prison. And when he arrived in prison, 
leader of the prison. Please clap for Jesus. Imagine finding favor in prison. Yes, you despise you your job. You despise what you can give to do. But when you get there, even though you didn't want to be there, because of who you are, because of who you have, there you're honored. That is being a Christian. Even that is a blessing. You know, being honored in prison, finding favor, you're there and you're innocent. But yet, even there, God is still with you. Or you who are in prison. Or you who are in slavery and you have no idea where you're coming from. Those who are tied by ties and you don't know where it's coming from. Those who are under a bad leadership. There is a God in heaven who knows you. Even that is a blessing. And it is evident, it is obvious to people. Because one of his mates in jail, he went out and said, I know someone. Because he knew that person. When he arrived to Pharaoh's house, there is a word that Pharaoh told him, a very good word. He said, I'm giving over the country you. you. know, no one will move oh, unless you accept. Imagine, he is in a foreign country, but the one who is in him, that God of his father and his great father, great grandfather, he's still with him, and he gives him favor, and people will trust him, ask God for favor and to be trusted, because you have the one who is trustworthy, all this, where is it heading to? You might think, oh, how rich they were. But what about me? I want to tell you something. Look for the owner, the giver of blessing. The word you started with said, God did good to the ancestors, the forefathers, because he was pleased with them. I will not live here without telling you to go away from sin. To go away from sin. Because he who does sin Stop looking for, ble uh, for blessings while you're in the wrong ways. Don't think that this word will find its fulfillment in you. Because truth comes to you and you ignore it. You need to be righteous before God. In these last days you have come into, what God is telling you and telling me is that we should not run after blessings. But let us run after the gift of blessings. Let us have the zeal to be righteous in the eyes of the giver of blessing and he will give us whatever blessing he wants. The greatest and first blessing that he will give you, a son will not hurt you by day and rain will not hurt you. And this is the minimum of protection. He will going to give you food. You won't go hungry. Even in that time on you will be ready. He will give you joy and to be patient. Because his joy is not for you to go hungry. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. Benedat. Beloved, everything that God has done, he did so that people might know him. All his works, it is for someone to see. Do you know that God knows how to advertise? He has given his blessing to Solomon and then he called people to come and see the blessing he has given him. And he told the queen of Sheba, go and see what I have done. Go and see what I have done. God knows how to walk through you and then he will call people to come and see. Because he wants people to respect him. He wants his name to be glorified. He wants all his glory to be on the whole earth. There are people who are going to be impressed by the riches. I tell you the truth, there are people who cannot understand Understand unless they see 
abana b'Imana bafite ibintu kandi badakompromita mu bya except when they see the children of God who have material things and who do not compromise with sin it's possible it is possible yes it is possible yes it is possible hari abantu bazahagurutswa no kujya babareba nibu kiranukira imana there are people who come to see whether you're righteous before hari abantu bazajonjora nibu urumbukire w'ibintu barebe niba bikiranuka there are people who are going to come and see you as a rich person whether you're being righteous in what you do and when they find that you receive those things from heaven they will kneel down before God and say we are the queen of Sheba she said blessed are those who eat on your table she, said, she had heard about the wealth but when she got to Solomon's place she heard about the wisdom coming out of the mouth of Solomon that gives wisdom you know that he can give you wisdom and he will call people to come and hear the wisdom he has given you let us ask for wisdom from God because you might think that money is for certain people you know I know that if God wants he can give me that money but even before that because I um, speak on his behalf I ask him for wisdom I ask for wisdom because I'm a leader of his people I ask for wisdom if he wants to give me material things he will give me material things but one thing I know whether he gives you wisdom whether he gives you knowledge whether I give you riches, whether I give you friends, whether he gives you influence, he's going to call people to come and see that so that his name might be exalted. Yes, Praise be to Jesus. The one you are, what you are, I want to tell you the word of God says a good person, he leaves a good legacy for his children and his grandchildren and the wealth of the wicked it is kept for the righteous you didn't get that let me repeat that a good person a man of God or woman of God he works he works thinking about the legacy he's going to leave for his children and his grandchildren and the wealth of the wicked the wealth of the wicked the wealth of who of the wicked is kept for the righteous <laughs> you think that he doesn't speak he just spoke may God the father of us all may he give you to be built in him may you be strengthened in him may you be righteous before him by the grace of God by the mercies of God and then after that he's going to make us his ambassadors what he will have given you and what he will have given me may it serve God in truth may it glorify the name of God may it speak about the greatness of God and may he be pleased that he has given you what he gave you and so that you might work together to expand his kingdom Amen 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 mubihe bya nyuma mwami ubutumwa bwiza wohereza kwisi mwami imana ishobora byose ko bufite ingabo n'intore wowe ubwawe mu butware no mu bushozi bwawe witegurira kandi murawo hazabama bafite gusigwa kugaragara anointing igaragara gusigwa kugaragara imbaraga z'imana zifatika kugira ngo ibimenyetso nibitangaza bigaragarire abantu ibakurure kuri yo mwami imana wanyeretse neza ko uko wabenishije abambere basogokuruza washakaga kwa mahanga abona kukomeye nibikomeye byisa abantu birukanyira ushobora kubitanga kugira ngo bibareshye bamenye kukomeye bamenye kuhambaye mwami wanje mana yanje n'uyu munsi ntabwo uri imana itwoshya nibintu 
nta nuguri imana ishaka kunyanyagiza ibintu kugira ngo dukire tugarame ubaba yabantu bawe ubaba yabarimbuka ubaba yabanyabyaha ubaba yaba satana ari hwarya nta ubababaye nta ubarira uyu munsi igihe tugezemo ni wowe ukize isaha tuba mo ni wowe yize generation yacu ivugisha ifaranga ivugisha ibifatika ariko twe twahishuriwe ko ibyo bifatika n'amafaranga ntacyo bimaze tutagufite ntacyo byatumare tutakubaha nta nico byamare ubwami bwawe tutakwibitseho mwami wanje mana yanje ndasenga ngo uyu munsi ugire neza bica yaho nabadukurikiye hirya no hino biboneze mwami turi mu gihe ushaka bera nabakiranutse turi mu gihe ushaka abarindi sanduku yawe turi mu isaha ushaka kweza no gutunganya abantu kugira ngo ubone abaza guhagarara mu gihe gikomeye kiri imbere mwami wanje mana yanje dushoboze duhimbaraga kugira ngo ibyo bihe mwami tuzabihagarara nemo nawe kandi zurehereseho benshi kuko icyo ushaka ni kimwe nuko benshi bakugarukira nuko imitima myinshi guhindukirira abakene bazamuka bakakubona abarira bagahozwa amarira ibisenze gere bigakira ababoroga bagahanugurwa amarira mwami imana indirimbo nshya zikavugwa ku minwa yacu indirimbo z'ibyishimo zikaba ku minwa yacu mwami abantu bakabona gukomera kwawe mwami imana ishobora byose abakomeye bo mwise mana ishobora byose amafaranga giye gutagaciro Mwami nubuhanga buraza kuburi herezo buraza kuburaho bukorera ariko wowe wenyine ni wowe wenyine ushobora guhagarika yese ni wowe ufite strategy zo gukomeza yese ni wowe ufite mwami gukomeza yese ukayihagarika kandi bakamenya kuri umwami w'ujuru nese mwami ngwi nubikore mana twuhagire mana dukomeze duhe kwihangana tugutegereje imana yanje duhe kwihangana tugutegereje imana duhe kwihangana tugutegereje imana Mwami duhe kwihangana tugutegereje. Mwami dushoboze kwihangana tugutegereje. Mwami duhe gutsinda, duhe kunesha. Duhe gushobora mwami kugira ngo twambi ku imbaraga nawe kandi mwami duserukane nawe. Mwami wanje mana ndasenga ngo uhuvu butumwa wese mwami umwisobanura ukushaka. Kizu fitira rya amafaranga. Fasho fitira rya amafaranga uri mukize kuko mwama bafitira riryo gukomera ry'amafaranga ry'ibyubahiro abo ntabwo bazaba mu nzira zawe abo ntabwo bazaba mu nzira zawe no gukora kwawe mwami imana ishobora byose igiye ngicyo urashaka abantu mwami bemera kubabara ariko babazwa nibyawe mwami dushoboze twihangane dushoboze mwami abagaragu bawe n'abaje bawe bizisa ubakomeze mana ubakomeze bakomere mwami bishingikirize wowe Mwami Imana ishobora byose ibyiringiro byawo bibe muri wowe. Ndasengera umuntu wese uvuga atari ko se mana nibyo kurya ntabyo mfite. Uri Imana itanga ibyo kurya uyu munsi turi uyo munsi. Rambura ikiganza cyawe umwereke kuri Imana ikomeye. Nuwo no mugisha uyu munsi. Mwami Imana ishobora byose ufite amakimbirane. Umuhamahoro yo mu mutima. Nuwo no mugisha mwami wanje. Mana urwaje umukiriza abarwaye. Mwami nurwaye umukize. Nuwo no mugisha ugaragara mwami nuko no gukomera kwawe niyo ni imirimo yawe girira neza abagutabaza bose mu buryo bumwe cyangwa ubundi ugaragaze gukomera kwawe uvuga izina ryawe utange impundu ku minwa yacu uduhe indirimbo nsha uduhe ibiguhamya dusoke tuvuga ibyo ukora twe kubihimba tuvuga uko twakubonye tuvuga uriwe duhamye uriwe tuvuga imirimo yawe mwami Yesu niwe watubwiye ngo ese ne bamagamba atatwemeza nta kintu turabona mu buzima bwacu kitwemeza kuri imana tugire neza mana tubonye byinshi twabonye byinshi twabonye byinshi wakoze byinshi imana kandi n'uyu munsi uracyakora ngwe n'udusanganire rero mana uduhagarike dukomeye udushira hakomeye uduhagarike kuri rwa rutara rwo wowe twe kunyeganyezwa dushikame dukomeze kugira ngo mwami aho serukira mwami twimane nawe icyubahiro ni kuzo bibi byawo utugira neza mu buryo bwose mu isina rya Yesu Kristo vuga ngo amen amen ukawera ndakunyotewe wiruganze muri nje unyigishe 
Te ve 